Салвам кахалайм лайяву башим яушай башим раха хакурдаш. The honors to the apostles of GMS that rule well, and uh, shalom to the elect. All right. Um, this lesson is dealing with a little history going uh, into the rubber rubber. It was called the rubber boom uh, genocide. All right, or there is also another name, the Putu Putu Mayo genocide. All right, and this is dealing with the um, um, territory of the Amazon, and it's pretty much dealing with the tribe of Asher. All right, which is the Peruvians, you know, the Colombians, Ecuadorians, so forth around that region, Brazil. Um, so this is from a page called sapiens.org. Uh, it, it says, Rubber barons abuses live on in memory and myth. Now the the world the wordplay rubber baron, you have a you have a term, one sec, you have a term called a robber baron, you know, and a robber baron, as it says here, one of the American industrial or financial magnets magnates of the late 1800s who became wealthy by unethical means such as questionable stock market operations and exploitation of labor a feudal lord who robbed travelers passing through his domain taxing them you know extorting them but um a, a robber baron yeah it pretty much is a is a is a a, a business person you know a a a, a, a an industrialist a capitalist you know that um he, he pretty much has unethical means of business and this was the way that esau excelled into power you know and 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 multiplied his wealth right when you go into the robber barons of of the of the of uh post-colonial america right which is about pre-industrial you know you have the carnegies the rockefellers right the Duponts, these 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 guys, um, you know, they they climb their way to the top by very unethical means, right? But that's Esau, man. You know, <laughs> he's the most subtle a uh, uh, person, you know, a creature on the planet. But uh, anyway, when you look up the, uh, the the robber barons, you understand what that means, right? Robber baron, and they got different pictures, like they got um, oh no. Yeah, like this, you know, robber baron, you know, like a fat, you know, Edomite on the backs of the of the working people, and and you know who, the, who this is. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> um, you know, these guys, these are the robber barons, you know. But anyway, when you look up the top robber baron, or one of the top, which is Ro John D. Rockefeller. He was the one that started the uh, the American oil company, right? And uh, duped everybody into thinking that, uh, oh, there's a thing called fossil fuel and there's a, a finite amount of it. There's a limited amount of it, you know, so we got to charge them, you know, and we got to be grateful for it. <laughs> but this dude, he was also in, in, involved in the... Um, in the um in the rubber boom right or what is known as the rubber boom genocide because he was the one that pushed the rubber you know because it because it popped up you know that 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 uh that that product and uh he he pushed it forth but it was at the expense of a lot of israelites man when we when we go into the history right so I'm going to go, I'm going to skip a little down. It says for indigenous, now the thing is rubber was used by, 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 by them, but in a different way. But these devils, you know, they, they want to industrialize everything and expand. Uh, you know, it's never enough. You know, the glean, the gleaning grapes is, is not enough for them, but, um, you know, uh, you got to think about all the different products of rubber. <laughs> a lot of different products, man. It's not just car tires, which is a lot in itself. 
there's a lot of different products. So it says for indigenous peoples in the Amazon region, the rubber era was a particularly traumatic part of their collective history. All right, now this is a real picture because even up, no, not up there. I thought it was up there, but anyway, this picture is a real picture of, of uh, Asherites in chains. So you got bugged out Israelites. I remember when I first came into truth from that time until now, you got Israelites that come on uh, uh, you know, they, you know, they come here and there, and they and they talk about oh, um, the Northern Kingdom, the the Gadites, the Asherites, the 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 Reubenites, the uh, or, or or remember they don't really acknowledge them as that, so they say the na the so-called natives, and the South Americans, they never went into hardcore slavery, or they never were chained up. This is a real picture right here, right? It says much of the profit from rubber was gained through the exploitation and abuse of indigenous peoples. In the Amazon, and they're dark skinned right? But they don't have what they t uh, they call Negroid features or Af Afro, you know, woolly hair, right? So they'll say that these people are uh, uh, they come from the Bering Strait, they're Asiatics and all that madness, right? These are Israelites, man. Ain't no, ain't no uh, Asians went into slavery, man. All right. It says. Uh, <laughs> It says, through the exploitation and abuse of indigenous peoples in the Amazon, a 1912 book, the Putumayo, which Putumayo was a river there. That's why it's, it was called the Putumayo uh, Genocide. Uh, so it says, the Putumayo in which this image was included was an early and important work that documented the atrocities committed by rubber baron uh, Julio Caesar Arana, Arana's Peruvian Amazon company. Right, so it says the rise of commercial manufacturing in Europe and the United States in the 19th century triggered an economic boom in South America by creating an enormous appetite for rubber to make tubes, tires, belts, gaskets, and other products. It says uh, the Brazilian cities of Manaus and Belém, as well as Peru's Amazon port of Iquitos, still bear traces of the fortunes made in the late 1800s before british travelers spirited thousands of rubber trees tree seeds uh, to london once they were germinated the seedlings were sent to asia where plantations were sown outsource cheap you know esau you know this was the time of esau man you know the industrial revolution right or the industrial age uh, but the rubber rubber barons is wealth came at the expense of forced labor some of which was outright slavery <laughs> there you go <laughs> thousands of indigenous men women and children died while subjected to this work or were murdered by overseers when they failed to deliver their quota of latex or when they rebelled so this is not this is not the 14 1500s 1600s this is not the time of uh, the conquistadors and cristobal cologne and and Francisco Pizarro and, and, and all these devils, man. This is the late 1800s, man. Going into the 1900s. At the turn of the century, man. Alright? Uh, one of the most brutal rubber barons was the Peruvian Julio Cesar Arana, who operated in a large swath of land along the Putumayo River during the first decade of the 1900s, taking advantage of lawlessness in an area when the board where the border between Peru and Colombia was undefined, accounts of the rape, torture, and murder of, of indigenous laborers eventually reached England, where Arana's uh, where Arana's Peruvian Amazon company was registered. Press coverage and pressure from human rights organizations there led to an investigation by British diplomat Roger Casement. All right, so Casement's damning report filed with the British foreign secretary in 1911 triggered another investigation in england since three of the company's directors were british but it had little impact in peru where those responsible for the abuses went largely unpunished yeah because when you when you research um colonialism in south america primarily you have a system that was implemented by the spaniards it was called the encomienda system Right when you look up the encomienda system, which Lord's will, I'll do a lesson on that because it's worth going into it. You know, pretty much these devils, man. You know, they pop a lot of Jake women there. You know, a lot of different Asher, Judah, Ben, you know, Benjamin, all kinds of women. 
they had their way and a lot of them left their seed there you know they light they lightened up a lot of the, the people that you know that was through their seed and those devils that you see with the spanish names and everything and you think they're jake because they might even look a little like jake because the mom is a jake but down through the generations you know they, they lighten themselves up but they'll be the overseers and that system let, let's say spain is no longer your colonial power your, your overseer you know your sovereign let's say you so-called gain independence it doesn't matter because the people in the power seat right they still follow that 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 um hierarchy of of racial so-called inequality of um the caste system you know because you had so many definitions and names of different people like you had you had mestizo and you had you had many 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 different names a marano you had uh mulatto you know all these different names you, you had like 20 30 different names man classifications according to who your mother and father were you had israelites that were israelites they were pretty much like indians but they lived in the in, in the city you know and they renounced that indigenous lifestyle i believe they were called cholos first right they were like latinized indians you know and they look down on 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 the indigenous right that's why even today you got like in like mexicans is, is big in mexico the so-called latinized mexicans right they'll look at the indigenous doing their thing right because a lot of them they do the witchcraft but they, they'll do the herbs as well they'll do a lot of different things but they'll look at them and they'll call them like they'll say pinche indios which is like fucking indians fucking in you know Fucking Indians, basically, you know, pinch Indian, like, like you know, like it's a derogatory term, right? So you had you had a lot of different uh, cases you got to take into account, right? So it says here, although the bulk of the rubber tapping industry shifted to Asian plantations for cost efficiency, the rubber industry persisted in South America through the 1960s. See, so it's a latex, it's um, you know, it's like sap, it's like um, maple syrup. Right, but then it hardens. Instead, the end of the rubber boom in this region of the world was a matter of economics. As Asian plantations began producing more latex at a lower cost, rubber tappers who worked from scattered trees in the forest could no longer compete and the Amazonian boom went bust. Nevertheless, rubber production and the abuse of indigenous laborers continued in Amazonian Peru on a smaller scale, finally dwindling away in the mid-19th or sorry 20th century right so that's the 1900s so it says some kukama villagers along the lower maranon river tra uh, tapped rubber as recently as the 1950s and 60s the villagers were not slaves but rather laborers indebted to patrons or landholders and bosses in what is now the pasaya samaria national reserve a huge protected area encompassing a seasonally flooded expanse of forests and wetlands in Peru's Loreto region. Now let me go down. One sec. So it says... Um, well, well, it gives a count, you know, like the, uh, here, like, like the uh, mother and, and, and daughter, they were raped, right? But there's another thing I wanted to read. Hold on. No, that was it. That was it on here. I'm going to go... Here I had a, pic a few pictures I'm going to show. This is I uh, actually got from Reddit, you know, which Reddit is uh, is a pretty good app, you know, sharing information, man. A lot of, a lot of different things you can find. But, uh, you know, as it shows, uh, casement weighed the loads these youths were carrying and estimated their weight at 75 kilos each. Man, that's, that's over 100 pounds, you know, for these boys. The Indians carried them over a distance of 100 kilometers without food being given. You know, so those those are dire situations, man. You know, um, 
right here another picture all right so look at 75 freaking kilos man right this this is that picture i showed earlier right they were likely imprisoned for the usual crime of not collecting enough rubber or for running away right you know so as you see this is the um this is the late 1800s 1900s right chained up uh, colonia indiana right they carry in a tree there's a big ass tree as well you know indigenous women abducted by pac employees to serve as concubines some section overseers had harems cons consisting of eight or more many of these women were abused and murdered right so basically they had their way with with, with jake with our people man now check this out it says many barbadians were imported to supervise the indian workforce which provided the raw material from which the fortunes were being made right so you see uh, the asherites here and, and and barbadians which that just shows you man jake jake it, it's not like oh um he's looking at them like these are my people no man he's just doing his job you know just like the um, um buffalo soldiers man the the jake cowboys right uh when they made that unit to go and and, and fight gad you know so they can subjugate them they they didn't say oh those are yeah they, you know no nah, they, they didn't say those are my people they just said look we've got a good job we're doing it you know same with gad being scouts for Esau, hunting Jake and all that, man. And and Esau knows this, right? Esau knows who those people are. And he pits them against each other, right? He's subtle. He's the most subtle creature on, on uh, in the field, <laughs> in the garden, right? He's a damn serpent. Now this, uh, you can't really read it, but obviously you see the little boy and he got lashes on him, man. For not getting enough rubber. That's what it pretty much reads when you, when you, when you read it, you know? but it's it's like blurred out but you know that just shows you man loading the peruvian amazon company ship the liberal with rubber to send to equitos we hardingberg mentioned locals were frequently brought with rubber with the rubber to be sold as slaves right so they so they had the ships coming you know uh, uh down the river and then they loaded the rubber and then they took some of the locals to sell as slaves. So they basically had their way with these people, man. You know, some people were unaccounted, murdered, killed, whatever, man. Right? It didn't matter. An incident of the Putumayo, an indigenous woman starving to death. Right? Now, this was a thing that somebody wrote. Pretty much a highlight of what happened, you know, throughout. Because he gave sources in different parts as well. I didn't uh, screenshot that part. But uh, I'm going to read through it because it's, it, it's pretty much all the highlights of, of all the wickedness that these devils did. And he gives some uh, sources in it as well. So it says, uh, number one, the Pacific Indians of the Putumayo are forced to work day and night at the extraction of rubber without the slightest re re remuneration except the food necessary to keep them alive. They are kept in the most complete nakedness. Many of them not even possessing the biblical fig leaf. They are robbed of their crops, their women, and their children to satisfy the veracity, lasciviousness, and avarice of this company and its employees who live on their food and violate their women. They are sold wholesale, wholesale and retail in, in Equitos at prices that range from 20, I believe that's pounds, to 40. Right? They are flogged inhumanely. Until their bones are laid bare and great raw sores cover them. They are given no medical treatment but are left to die. Eaten by maggots when they serve as food for the chief's dogs. So you can't say that these people aren't Israelites, man. They went through the curses as well. You know? And like I said, this is post fucking... Uh, uh, um, Spanish colonialism, right? Spanish uh, rule, right? This is post that, man. You know, all these atrocities. It says they are castrated and mutilated, number seven. 
and their ears, fingers, arms, and legs are cut off. So this is pretty much when Christopher, uh, Christopher Columbus came. This is pretty much like hardcore slavery, man. Right? In the late 1800s, uh, early 1900s. Right? Uh, number eight, they are tortured by means of fire and water and by tying them up, crucifying head down. Their houses and crops are burned and destroyed wantonly and for amusement. They are cut to pieces and dismembered with knives, axes, and machetes. Their children are grasped by the feet and their heads are dashed against trees and walls until their brains fly out. What the hell? So this man, yo, you got a lot to pay for, man. You know? And there's a reason why two-thirds is going to suffer a serious f woe. You know, there's a serious destruction coming for you fucking two-thirds, man. You know, and, that, and that's the worst thing. A Latinized nigga. You know, a, la a fucking, a fucking uh, uh, Sambo. You know? That's the worst. That's the worst one, man. Right? I got the good job. I'm getting the good pay. You know, I got the wife. I got the mistress. I'm good. I don't fucking, fucking Indians. You know? That's the worst fucking kind, man. There's a special death for those ones, man. You know? Because a lot a lot of them did dirt as well. A lot of them, man. Not just telling. Right? Not just ratting out and supervising, man. A lot of them got off. Hey, like, there's, there's a bunch of jakes. They'll catch these jake cops, man, doing dirt. Being bandits, man. Fucking up people. You know? Doing a lot of dirt, man. This is that Jake's crazy, man. There's that bugged out spirit on them. So it says, um, verse, tw uh, verse 12, number 12, their old folk are killed when they are no longer able to work for the company. So, so that goes, you know what that goes into straight? That goes into they shall neither spare young or old. Hold on. Right. Deuteronomy 28 and 50 A nation of fierce countenance Which shall not regard the person of the old Nor show favor to the young You just read the babies are uh, they're, they're, uh, uh, You know their, their heads are dashed against the trees Right Where was that Right, number 11, their children are grasped by the feet and their heads are dashed against trees and walls until their brains fly out. Their old folk are killed when they are no longer able to work for the company. Men, women, and children are shot to provide amusement for the employees or to celebrate the Sabato de Gloria or, in preference to this, they are burned with kerosene so that the employees may enjoy their desperate agony. This is indeed a horrible indictment and may seem incredible to many. On the other hand, we all know the inhumane atrocities of the Congo, and it seems reasonable to suppose that the conditions that may or that have made that region so notorious do not fail to produce precisely similar results in the vast and isolated region of the Putumayo. In addition to this, during my subsequent investigation in Iquitos, I obtained from a number of eyewitness accounts of many of the abominable outrages that take place here hourly. Right? So, hey man, this... That's wicked, man. That's fucking wicked. But um, anyway, I hope I hope you're edified. I hope, you know, you were uh, you were stirred up a bit. Um, and, and that's something to go into, right? There's other things I could read. I did a lesson on this years ago. You could probably look it up on my channel. I did it with the brother Ashar. And there's a different source I read. It kind of went into more a little, a little bit more detail. But again, I found a little bit more info this time again. And I thought to bring it out because, you know, like I said, I found some new pictures that I didn't have before. And more information as, as the spirit will have. Um, so, you know, with that, Kahalalim, La Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechaha Kurash. The honors to the apostles of GMS that rule well, and uh, shalom to the elect.